Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Super duper thank you very much to Asteroid Fight Club, Dennis, Cody, Bruce, JCR, and all the cool people out there. I am now only $774 away from hitting my Thor News November 2021 goal. That is wonderful news. All right, now let's get to the weather newsy news. <clears throat> Severe thunderstorm warning, including New York, New York, Manhattan, New York, and the Bronx, New York, until 2.30 p.m., there are over 9 million people within this warning. And New Yorkers and New Jerseyers are like, wow, there's so much a hail here in my area of where I live or I'm hanging out right now. <laughs> that was the worst New Jersey, New York accent ever. Um, please forgive me. I hope I don't get canceled because of it. I don't even know what it was. Probably Cockney. It's always my go to accent. Hail from a severe storm has covered the ground here in. Bloomingdale, Morris County, from the severe storm. I don't think I've ever seen it like this around here. Amazing, says the 12th, 12th Janelle of all time, I guess. So, yeah, hail. All hail. Yonkers. Kind of sounds like a secondary version of yoinks, but it's not. It's actually a place. Hey, man. Yesterday, we had some mudslide evacuations in Washington or was it Oregon? Oh, sorry. Scott Duncan today is saying, hey, incessant heavy rain will pile into the Pacific Northwest, USA, and British Columbia, Canada in the next 72 hours due to a significant atmospheric river event. Flooding and landslides are highly likely. The atmospheric warmth and moisture can be traced all the way to the tropics. Wow. You've still got summer finding winter, even though we're in autumn. So we're definitely getting some interesting weather. Although I'd want to note that most of the interesting weather is above the Mason-Dixon line. Did I say that properly? I don't know. This line, whatever this line is right here. But it seems like all the weather that's happening is definitely above this area. Which I think is interesting. Although there is a little bit of, there's a strip of wetness down in Florida. But I just, I don't know. This area seems to be pretty dry and weatherless other than Florida right now. Then you've got all your snow crashing through the Dakotas, moving into the Minnesotas and such. And then whatever state this is, I'll figure out that someday, man. I promise. Jack Sillen, who's always chilling, talking about cool weather stuff, has a cool graphic happening. This, I mean, sutra, typical tidbits. This trough is rapidly becoming negatively tilted or orientated from the northwest to the southeast. That trend will continue through the day. While this disturbance is too fast and too far north to phase with the short wave over the southeast, it is impressive in its own right and will provide plenty of forcing. All right. Now, don't let my super duper good mood fool you. I got a chance to hang out with a friend yesterday and I'm only like $150, $60 away from making all my mid-month bills before the 16th so i'm very excited but we just had an asteroid pass by earth or is about to be passing by earth as i'm making this video as tony dunn says a volleyball sized asteroid c6 j c g l2 may be passing 7600 kilometers above my neighborhood about an hour from now. This is 20 minutes ago. There are only a few observations from Mount Lemon last night, so uncertainties are high. But this is in its nominal path. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a wild, wild week for Asteroid Fight Club. Um, I've been putting out alerts about the middle of November, technically all year long. And I've been saying we really need to watch to the buildup of the lunar the longest lunar eclipse although it's partial in taurus for the full moon on the 18th and 19th because it'll it will be eclipsing the demon star algol and for thousands of years multiple civilizations have said whenever that happens there is usually a major event that leads to corpses stacking on corpses stacking on corpses and so this moon has you know has already added some crazy creepy features already and so we are on super full high alert pretty much 
I would say, till the end of November. Okay, Molten Moon on the coast of Taiwan. Photographer Mei Ying Li was watching the crescent moon set on November 10th when a second moon rose out of the waves to meet it. It was a lovely inferior mirage, says Li, who rapidly started taking pictures. Yeah, it's a creepy looking blood moon esque. And man, we aren't even to the full moon yet. Oh, Marie Fe Condentidius. Oh, Marie Christium. Oh. And in bad news nobody wants to hear, uh, Europe is going to be going through weird versions of lockdowns and shutdowns and whatever. And yesterday in the USA, over 132,000 new cases, and you had over 2,100 deaths. So, after the virus started to come down, it's now plateaued and sounds like it's headed back up. So, I'm just recommending everybody play excellent defense for the next two weeks. You don't have to, but it's my recommendation. I would like to recommend, um, I would, and, no, I'm sorry. I would like to congratulate everybody sur for surviving Taylor Swift Day, except for, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal. I guess he was a casualty. We live in the strangest of times for sure. A, I've always been too poor to hold grudges. B, as a Norse Jedi Christian, I do my best to forgive everyone every day. And C, um, as a Sagittarius, I just like to keep moving forward, so there's no time to really be stuck in the past Um, as far as like holding grudges against people. And another reason we are on a full warning, we are like eight days away from Sagittarius season, which is like holiday season. And now we are still in Scorpio. We got like a, a little bit more than a week left in Scorpio season. And as of right now, um, this is the most Scorpio season story we have for today. AI6YR. Hey, congratulations, dude. You've been declared relevant people by Twitter. Well, that's something I would not anticipate due to flooding and rain. Scorpions in Egypt have stung three people to death in the southern city of Aswan after heavy storms brought them to the streets and homes more than 450 people were injured i would assume by either being stung or by stamp running away from the scorpion stampede the hail and thunderstorm in the area near the river nile on friday was particularly violent scorpions are regularly washed into the streets by heavy rain while snakes also have been disturbed no mention of plagues of scorpions in the bible surprisingly given the location though a mention of the torment of a scorpion when you get bitten in Revelation, nervous laughed. The same chapter as mention of the seventh seal. <laughs> now go over to Egyptian gods and goddesses and you have Serket, the goddess of fertility, nature, animals, and healing from poisonous bites. Yes, that's a scorpion on her head. I don't know. But scor scorpion head's not always that bad. There's a joke in there somewhere. Hey, just a friendly reminder that patience is a virtue. And so we are heading into a super weird and wild week, which could be dangerous and have some demonic, you know, black magic elements to it. So I'd definitely be staying cool, playing defense, being kind where you can to get ready for a good holiday season. So I would hang in there and not make any major mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Because people have their stingers out, for sure. Hey, after 13 years, 9 months, and 11 days under conservatorship that controlled her life and money, Brittany Jean Spears is free. And this is wonderful news because she didn't deserve to be, like, locked down just for being a little crazy. We're all a little crazy these days. And I'm also a Sagittarius, which she is. And so, like, imagine if I got unshadow banned. If, imagine if, uh, like, really good things happened to me. I am. That would be awesome. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a good mood for a lot of reasons. I hope you're in a good mood too. I hope you're having a great day and you're going to have a fantastic weekend. And I hope you're doing your best to make the best of Earth's volcano weather right now. Things are weird. Try and enjoy life. And as I've said through the 16th, um, I'm going to be trying to keep my videos at like 10 minutes so I can put out a bunch of them over the next three days. So I can, you know, raise enough money to pay my bills in the middle of the month. Um, and so, and then I can just fire out videos like bang, 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 bang. Oh, does that sound cool? Okay, great.
Well, thank you all very much. You are incredible and awesome. And I'll be talking to you in the future. Um, stay cool. Let us have a great weekend. But yeah, we are definitely have been on full high alert since nine people died at that Astro World concert that was, you know, demonic in my opinion. But everyone's allowed to have their own opinion. Okay. So yeah, I would definitely put on the full armor of God, my friends. All right, everybody stay cool, be cool. And yeah, sure, if you've never made a contribution to Thor News before, and if you've been watching, like if you've watched over 100 videos, you know, it, and you can afford it, um, I would really, 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 really appreciate it. I got my 20, I got my nine year anniversary on the 23rd, which is 10 days away. And I got Thanksgiving on the 25th. Um, and so, you know, I don't know. And then it's, the good part of the season. And I've worked my ass off. And I think I've done a really good job this year. Anywho. Y'all have a great day. And I will keep you posted on all the things that are happening. And it does seem like a lot is happening. Alright. 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 God bless everyone.